All right, here we go. Check this out. Build your own clone. So I'm part of a, to a Discord channel and they started talking about foot pedals for guitar. Anyway, let's open it up. So far, well packaged. Going by the outside. Pretty solid. There's nothing rattling around in there. Invoice. Ba base overdrive. Knobs. Blue. Clear blue LEDs. Aluminum box, but it looks stainless. There's a poop sheet. Enclosure looks pretty nice. Looks like it almost looks stainless. Isn't that wild? Alright. I need a parts bin. So here it is. So it looks like this hookup wire, the pots, here's the knobs. I wasn't really thinking about aesthetics at all when it comes to this thing. I was I was just gonna I might just leave it. Let's open it up. The circuit board, spare set of hands here. Looks like the, you can see where the pot wires hook up. Gonna need the instructions. There it is. So they do, they mount right to the board and that's how the board gets mounted. So I dumped the parts out and uh, this is what we got. So I have a, a Weller fine tip solder, soldering uh, iron. Just use a paper towel, wet paper towel to clean the tip. I have some pretty thin solder. I like it because it seems to take forever to get used up. Just tin that up. There's the transistor. That's a 360 ohm resistor. Pop that right in. Start getting them lined up. What I'll do is I'll just oppose the back side here. 2.3 K ohm, 2.3 kilo ohm. Since this is audio circuits, I'm guessing we should keep the leads as short as possible. So you make sure they're really pressed up against the ward and pulled in tight. If I solder them from the top, they'll have a little bit better of a grasp when I do the real solder from the bottom. Even if it's just one of the legs. So I'm just tacking them to the top, I'll tack them to the bottom as well, but I figure if I do it this way, really hold it to the, to the board. Heat, longevity, keep them puppies planted. Alright, I'm going to get some uh, diagonal cutters. And so what I'll do for my tip, well it's, uh, I'll clean it off with the sponge. I'll just put a little blob of solder and let that sit right on there. The next round of components. So I'm going to cut all these off, inspect again, make sure I hit all of them. We don't want to ever, once this is done, we don't ever want to go back in it again. Diodes next. Pretty easy, there are only three. I got a stripe on one end, you can see. Same thing, I'll make sure they're firmly planted and put a little blob on this side. So there should be a notch up, there's a little notch right there. And on the board, the notch is facing up on this one. Go to town. The transistor. Uh, film capacitors. So what I'm doing is I'm just soldering one leg and making sure the thing's pushed all the way down. All we got left are electrolytics. Longer lead goes to the square pad. And that's it. On to switches. Opponents had a leftover if you want to use this for six string guitar. We don't want that. We want the bass. So what I'm doing is similar to what I did earlier. Just putting a blob on each one of the legs just to hold it in. Perfect. Install it upside down so it, it's a nice spot so I don't have to mess with it too much. This is a lead for one of the resistor leads I cut off. So far the hardest part of this kit was lining up the pots so they'd all fit into the case. I think I did pretty good. Perfect. That looks like it. That's it. Alright. So what I did was I cut them all the same length and now I'm just stripping them. I will tin them, plant them, solder them. The switch is in. Huh? I'm going to strip off about a half inch on each one of these, tin it and make a little hook, hook it onto the ears, squeeze them. So they have a mechanical connection. The back side looks good, yep, nice solder flow all both sides. Supercell. Because we need something plugged in. Have to put a little jumper in the, where the power port goes. Play the bass. Chips aren't in. True bypass though, the bypass works. 558 goes here. 
072P, 072P goes here, and one goes towards the notch side. It has a little, has a little detent on the... We're in. Alright, see, guitar. Power. Power. Jesus Christ. It's full wet, it'll go back a little bit. I guess it works. Alright, this is the completed product. I just got a jumper plugged in because it won't turn on otherwise. I powder coated the enclosure, bright white, the um, half inch lettering, uh, vinyl lettering, and then I powder coated blue. As you can see, I didn't prepare the white enough for the blue to stick. It grew on me. I, li I, I like the looks of and the unique. This is Ford blue, Ford dark blue. It should look like that, but um, bypass, uh, level, Blend and drive, bass and treble, nice bright LED. Eastwood Company powder coat kit. Do not leave it plugged in, the battery died. All right, here's without. A little more wet, more dry, a little less level, a little more bass. You can see they hear the difference. Mm -hmm. 